Welcome to Tasmania, this little island south of Australia's coast. Yes, that island right there. It's probably one of the most beautiful places we've ever been to. Tassie, as the Aussies like to call it, is all about discovering the beautiful outback, the picturesque scene, and the wildlife in it. And for the next few weeks, we will be taking you along our East Coast journey around Tasmania. First thing you want to do is rent a car when you arrive at the airport. Good morning guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we are in Hobart. We just landed about an hour ago and we hired a car because we're going to be driving all around Tasmania for the next seven days. As you know, Tasmania is actually quite underrated destination in Australia. They call it mini New Zealand. They mm -hmm. call it love child of Australia and New Zealand. But Tasmania is actually very beautiful. That's why we're gonna show you from Hobart and we're gonna drive all the way up through the East Coast, Wine Glass Bay, Base of Fire, Launceston, and Cradle Mountain to see how beautiful Tasmania is. First things first, we gotta eat some good old breakfast. Hobart's breakfast options are one of the best. Most cafes here support the local farmers by using only locally produced ingredients. So our first stop is Pigeon Hall here in Hobart. A small nifty cafe. Then the one thing you need to look out for is definitely their baked eggs. And of course, a cup of coffee. Ooh, fancy. I wish we have one back in Sydney. After a good breakfast at Pigeon Hall, now we are off to the next stop, which is... Salamanca Market. So we plan our trip very, very well, because we're here on a Saturday, and every Saturday there's the biggest market in Hobart that's open. That is Salamanca Market. It's quite unique, and it stretches all around the streets here. I think there's a couple of three or four blocks, I think. As you can see, it's really, really busy, but this is a great place to support sort of the local farmer here, the local artists here around Tassie, Hobart. Yeah, there's a lot of like local produce, for example, your fruits, your mm -hmm. flowers, and also there are a lot of market stall, food stalls, and also like souvenir from Tasmania. That's right. It only opens on Saturday, so if you have time on Saturday, you gotta come to Salamanca Market. Now, me and Helmi, we just found ourselves the scallop pie right in front of us. Alright, so we've got the scallop pie right here. Look at this. That's got some curry powder on top there. You can really smell it. Oh, so fragrant. This is what Tassie is famous for. Your seafood and of course the scallop here. Mm. Wow, look at that. Immediately, you got some of the portion of the scallop there. It is nice and chunky, chewy. Love that. And then you've got that curry hit just flavoring through the whole scallop and there's this whole bite. It's just absolutely wonderful and flavorful. This is actually really nice. It is kind of, there's some fish in its taste to it though, the aftertaste. For those of you who don't really like scallops, probably not kind of your pie, but I actually like it because they do have like some creamy curry sauce inside and also the pastry is quite flaky. So it's a good pie, but though, Eight dollars. It's quite expensive, but it's quite generous though with the scallop. What I love about this market is just next to all this building that's kind of heritage here. It's just absolutely wonderful to see all this kind of historical building preserved. It's really, really wonderful. And the market is just bustling. There's so many people, and it is pretty crowded though on a Saturday.
All right, so we've just paid for our entry ticket. We're in the Bonarong Wildlife Sanctuary here, and we might just tick off our bucket list because the Tassie Devil is here, and I think we also get to shake hands with the kangaroo. No, actually feed the kangaroo. Feed the kangaroo. Mm. Ah, let's take a look, guys. So as soon as you enter, it's like a big playground that has the kangaroo in the middle, it's definitely not caged, so they're free to roam around the whole sanctuary here. Well, the kangaroo is well fed. <laughs> yep. Enjoying life so much, you know. People keep giving the food and he's just sleeping. Yeah, I think it's kind of full. Mm. There's plenty of crumbs just yeah. underneath him. I'm a really big fan of kangaroos, so this is just quite a treat to see mm -hmm. in person. It's been a long time since I saw one. I mean, you gotta appreciate that they really took care of the kangaroos here. Because as you come to Australia's uh, outback, the countryside, you, you'll see sort of like horrific scenes of animals getting run over. So this is nice for them. It may seem like they've been kept captive here, but the sanctuary is really big. So they've got plenty of places to run around. I love this place because the kangaroos are so friendly. Look at this. That's not adorable. This one's really hungry. All right, so enough of kangaroos, I guess, because I want to see the Tazzy Devils. Come on. Wow guys, what an experience beside the dusty and gusty wind that keeps hitting me in the eye. Yeah. It was such a fantastic experience. Definitely. So we got to see the kangaroo roaming around mm -hmm. like so freely. You get to feed them, touch mm -hmm. them and we got to see the Tasmanian devils. That's right. That's amazing because it's an endangered species guys and apparently in the wild they can only live about five to six years but here in the sanctuary they're really taken care of mm. and they live up to like nine years i think they have a nine-year-old one there yeah. in the enclosure absolutely amazing and we, we thought they were never going to come out yeah but luckily they came out and oh, it was just a beautiful animal yeah and you got to see koala mm -hmm. echidna oh my god <sighs> this place is actually very good it's like it's good for your education about wildlife That's in right. Australia. Anything you want to ask, you just ask the staff. They're very knowledgeable and they're very friendly. A lot of Tassie people here. Up next on the agenda is Mount Wellington, the highest peak here in Hobart. One tip though, bring a jacket. It's so cold. It's freezing cold right now. I, I, I think it's like five degrees right now. It's so windy up here, but we made it to the top. So breathtaking to be honest, but the wind, oh, it's chilly. My hands are shaking. Oh, you can help me. Oh. Oh. Now we are in this observatory shelter. That's what they call it, I guess, because it is a shelter from the coldness, the chilly coldness. It's crazy, but when you get up here, it's actually quite warm, but you can look down towards Hobart City. You can see the sea, the port, just absolutely amazing, ridiculous. This is a breathtaking view. 
one of the bucket list things that we wanted to do here in Hobart. And can you imagine just down the bottom, it's 25 degrees and up here is like five degrees. <laughs> this is why they call it a little New Zealand pretty much. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, Hobart is so beautiful. They have different kind of landscape from the mountain, hills, bay and also waterfront so you guys have to come to Hobart you can actually do weekend in Hobart but for us we're gonna do full Tasmania so stay tuned <laughs> 